Well, he lost an eye in a drive-by shooting, but Malik Cozy has not lost his spirit. Jermont Terry live at an important fundraiser for the future of an inspiring nine-year-old, Jermont. Devin, this fundraiser for Malik Cozy is going to kick off in just about an hour from now. But you have to realize this kid has seen and been through so much in his short nine years. He has, I should say, more than what most adults endure in their lifetime. You know, Malik is not considering himself a victim. Instead, he is truly an inspiring survivor. Take a look. When you look at Malik Cozy, it's clear he's been through a lot. And when you see those scars, how does it make you feel, Malik? It don't make you feel bad. You see, at age nine, Malik experienced a life-altering ordeal. The fourth grader became caught in gunfire, as he said in the car. They was trying to catch somebody else, and I was in the way. But Malik was not in the way. He was doing what kids do, heading to the movies with his grandmother when those bullets hit him. How do you feel right about now? Um, happy. And why are you so happy? Because I'm back home. Being back to my normal safe. Despite losing vision in one eye, Malik is back. He's come a long way from recovering in the hospital. Ma, okay. Malik's playing a new tune Ma. because he knows how fortunate he is. Blessed. He keeps this cross his mom gave him around his neck at all times. It gives him peace. It means God is around me. Malik recently returned to school to some excited classmates. It was like, hi Malik, hi Malik. It's the same encouragement he received through the community, including the Pistons, with this Get Well tribute. I know they was going to put my um, name on the jump out screen. And how about when he met two of his favorite Detroit Lions? I met Ziggy and Theo. And while the shooter is still on the loose, Malik sends the simple message as he tries to move forward. I want you to turn yourself in because I didn't deserve it. Malik surely did not deserve it, but you can tell by that smile he is a fighter. Now, we should point out that Detroit police are still looking for the people involved in the shooting. Now, this fundraiser tonight is at the Wild Center. It kicks off at 7 o'clock. That's at 7 Mile and Gratiot. They're expecting to essentially, it's a ra rally and also a fundraiser. They're going to try to talk about stopping the violence as well. If you want to come out, that c continues until around 930 here at the Wild Center at 7 Mile and Gratiot. And you can also get a chance to see Malik yourself. He's a great kid, Devin. Well, you just have to admire the fact that he is choosing uh, happiness. It really is uh, inspiring. All right, Jamal. Yes.